As fans watched the conversation evolve between Robin and Cody Brown, they caught up on a tell that she has. The rapid eye movement is always her tell. Agree, I was thinking that Robin was trying her skills at acting too. Sounded more to me like a therapy film than what an actual conversation would sound like between a husband and wife. She was on repeat, your kids need you, they need you, they need you, work it out, reach out, etc. But she didn't give any feedback as to why they would feel that way, something like, your kids are upset for you for this reason. Maybe if you take accountability for it, you can make it right. It just sounded so fake and horrible. What do you think? Did Robin Brown know that Cody Brown would drag his OG three wife and kids during the fight? Was she dissing them under the guise of Cody's words? Was it a strategic play to persuade followers to sympathize with them? Are you like this season of Sister Wives? Let us know what we think in the comments below. Throughout 19 seasons of Sister Wives, Cody Brown has rarely addressed any mistakes. But in the new episode on Sunday night, the family patriarch revealed he made a few missteps during the pandemic. It's certainly a significant shift for Cody, who tends to be egocentric, and thinks everyone is always against him. So what did he finally regret? Cody Brown knows he messed up. Most Sister Wives viewers weren't impressed with the latest episode. Overall, fans believed that Cody and Robin's dramatic driveway moment took up too much time. And on top of that, most felt it quite obvious that TLC orchestrated the incident. However, Many felt astonished when Cody revealed he made blunders that contributed to the family's demise. Throughout the previous three seasons, he's entirely evaded personal responsibility for any of his divorces. So why acknowledge blame now? There are still lots of situations where Cody Brown never acknowledged culpability. But in the new episode, he says he regrets two events in particular, trying to kick Gabrielle and Garrison out of Janelle's house and not attending Yusebel's back surgery. At the time, Cody pointed fingers at Janelle and her household and claimed if they couldn't follow by his standards, he wouldn't visit them. When Janelle refused to kick her sons out of the house, Cody turned on them and stopped prioritizing them. That just became sort of a foolish power game, the TLC personality said during the new show. One decision fueled Christine Brown's choice to leave. Cody Brown never seems to make up with Janelle's sons, but that's not where his horrible behavior ends. He also said he made a significant error when he abandoned Isabel for her back surgery. That put some bad blood between a bunch of us, the family patriarch continued. At the time, the epidemic was in its early days and no one knew exactly what to do. But even so, Isabel required back surgery and had to fly to New Jersey to have it. Christine was more than willing to go with her daughter, but Cody refused to go during the pandemic. Ultimately, that produced a significant wedge between Cody and the other family members. Isabel felt abandoned, her siblings empathized with her, and Christine ultimately decided she was done with their marriage. Although leaving is hard, Christine is wildly thankful she moved on with her life, and her fans couldn't be happier for her. Were you stunned to see Cody Brown apologize during the new episode? What did you think of the new episode overall? Leave your own opinions and suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any of everyone and welcome to my sister wife's official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Although Sister Wise star, Robin Brown, seemingly was attempting to appear gentle and innocent on the current episode, many viewers see through the charade. Undeniably, Robin was pleading with Cody Brown to be the dad the all G13 kids deserve. However, instead of it being viewed as a compassionate gesture, some fans seized on to the discourse criticizing the kids and moms instead. Furthermore, fans think it was a backhanded insult at Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown. Robin Brown knew what she was doing. After hearing Robin and Cody Brown dispute on the newest episode of Sister Wives, several viewers caught up on her underlying meaning. 
While many believe it was to make her appear more lovely and nice, others think there was a hidden jab. Since she was trying to be friendly and caring, fans assume her true objective was to use Cody as a weapon to bash Mary, Christine, Janelle Brown, and their kids. Specifically, she has claimed she speaks Cody, and many people think that is code that she manipulates Cody easily. Previously, Robin anticipated Cody would blurt out facts during the wedding special, so she went as far as covering his lips. But now, viewers think she set him up for the fall when talking about the OG kids and their moms. Robin Brown disses OG kids' moms in stage fight. On Reddit, Sister Wise fans criticize how Robin Brown disses Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown during the manufactured fight with Kobe Brown. First, a user says, Robin and Cody stage fight. Then, they add, if Robin really wanted Cody to fix his relationship with his children, she would never have filmed this conversation, stage fight, because she knew, knows, that Cody would say bad things about his kids and it would hurt Cody's kids and these people are probably angrier at their father. Furthermore, they continue, Cody blamed his children, spoke badly about Maddie and Hunter on TV. In fact, Cody badmouthed all of his kids on air. Robin blamed Christine and Janelle, stating the children were getting wrong information from their mothers. Remembering that Janelle separated from Cody because he clashed with Gabe and Garrison, if she wanted them to make up, it's a type of talk she should never have filmed because it only makes the children angrier at their father. Another admirer adds, My first clue it was scripted was when they first started talking, and it was clear they had the acting ability of middle schoolers performing a skit. Fans echo that Robin Brown understood how Cody would act. After the initial post, one admirer claimed that Robin Brown knew that Cody would spill. Instead of covering his lips, she tried to get the blood off her hands. The stage scene only worsened the relationship between Cody and his children. Robin knows Cody and anticipated he would talk bad about his kids on TV. I knew, we knew he would do it. The scene saddened Maddie even more, and it is apparent that Janelle's children must have also been furious with their father now. Garrison died. TLC was terrible. This was to make Robin look good and like she is supportive of his kids having a relationship with him. The kids that she didn't want to have over for Christmas bukes, they may fight and it would be scary. The kids who she battled with in a text thread over a gift exchange that was for siblings, that she inserted herself into. The youngsters that were not as significant as hers, Becky's hers were tender. Other fans weigh in, furthermore, Many Sister Wise fans are certain that the wintry battle between Robin and Cody Brown was planned. Likewise, they assume it was a ditch effort to earn favor with fans as the storyline proceeds toward the devastating loss of Garrison Brown. 100%. This was arranged to try to make her look good. Didn't work. We detest you both. I'm really surprised no one has mentioned how Robin's enabling came out in that conversation. She said something like the kids are going by what they've been told by their moms. In effect, invalidating the kids' sentiments and letting Cody know she doesn't think he's at fault. T-H-A-T, that's the tell-tale clue. This was all manufactured BS. It was so gross seeing her weep over her own absentee father. When we've watched 10 plus years of her being complicit in the collapse of the family unit by prioritizing her kids over the rest. Both of these people are liars and manipulators, and I refuse to fall into the mirage of Robin's TV redemption. Isabel went through a spinal surgery and recovery without her dad, because Ari misses her dad. Robin supported that. They both suck, ETA, and they are lousy actors. I've seen third grade plays with more emotional authenticity. Some people believe that she has a tell.